Who's that? Is that the microphone? You got the Hi. It's an exploration of the desk while I'm filming. You've never seen this before, baby. <laughs> I know. Does it sound good to me? You want to say hi to everyone? Say hello. Say hello. Look. Hello. There you are. Good evening and welcome. Tonight we will be going over the history and geography of Alborz in Iran. First of all, that introduction was provided by my new kitten, Jed Jaguar. Everyone in my family, including me, are named after obscure movie and TV references. He's named after a minor character in the Godzilla universe because that's just a family tradition of being named after very strange obscure references. So, he's named after a, a robot. But, this is my first time filming with him in the room. He is a loaf on the bed right now, so hopefully he stays that way if you've ever had a kitten before, they have one brain cell. So hopefully he's winding down and he's gonna get some sleep while I film. I guess we'll find out together. But let's talk about al Bors in Iran. As you can see here, this is a very tiny province. Iran's a huge country. This is a very small space. And um, that's mainly because this area used to be part of Tehran. You can see over here. It split off. I didn't write down the year, but it's in the early 2000s to form Iran's smallest province. And Al Bors is named after the Al Bors Mountains, which come all through here, bordering the Caspian Sea up here. The Alpors Mountains are really beautiful, very jagged, with lots of beautiful waterfalls and caves, and lots of skiing. Yes, I will show you on Google Earth after we talk about the history of this place. I will show you all of the ski slopes. Believe it or not, skiing in the middle. can see here the largest city is Karaj, it's the capital of the area, and Karaj is mainly a suburb of Tehran, it's like the metropolitan area, just kind of flows right into it, but it's the very, like, outskirts of that metropolitan area. Everything else down here is farmland. It's very, very lush, fertile land right here. Because, of course, the rest of it is covered in huge, jagged peaks. Can't really farm that. There's some really quaint little villages up on the slopes there. But pretty much everyone lives down here. And pretty much that's it for the geography. Because this area is tiny. And the history is also not terribly long because, like I said, this area has been linked with Tehran for the longest time. So when you split it, all of the cool history happened over here. Not so much over here, but let's talk about this area in history. Because, like I said, all of this area is farmland. It had been farmed pretty much since farming was invented. People have been farming here for a long, 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 long time. I couldn't find anything about this area before the Achaemenid Empire. The Achaemenid Persians, pretty much when you think of the Persian Empire, you're thinking of the Achaemenids, like Xerxes and Persepolis and all of that. That's all the Achaemenids. This area was uh, an important part 
of the Zoroastrian religion, which was the religion of the Achaemenid Empire, the Persians. They were a, oh, I got flack for this last time I said it, a fire-worshipping religion, in a nutshell. But then I get corrected in saying they didn't worship fire, but fire was part of their worship, you know. But there were lots of little temples and things built up in the mountains here. Um, some of which are still being discovered and excavated, which is really cool. And those were fire temples. They would build big bonfires to worship at. And also they believed in not burying their dead or cremating their dead. They believed in leaving them up high so that birds could come and eat the corpses. So very good thing to have all of these high mountains up here for that. So yeah, lots of shrines and monuments and things still being discovered up in the mountains from that time period. Karaj didn't really become a major city until the the Silk Road started to pass through this area and became a stopover, probably a caravan sarai for traders traveling along the Silk Road so they could have a place to stay overnight. It wasn't like a trade center, you know, it wasn't where people came to exchange goods. It was an overnight stopover for travelers, mainly. And also, the area expanded even further when the kind of Persian elites of like the 19th century started to build their summer homes in this area. In particular, there was one called the Suleimania Palace, which was built in 1810 and um, was very, very big and beautiful for quite a while, for about a hundred years or so. It's, it's still around, but not nearly as glorious and beautiful as it once was. I saw on Wikipedia that it's part of Iran's agricultural college, but I couldn't find any other references confirming that, so take that with a grain of salt, I suppose. But the city didn't become what it is today until the mid-20th century when Iran, when it was finally known as Iran and not Persia anymore, began rapid industrialization and rapid modernization. Pretty much the Shah of Iran was trying to make the country into a westernized Muslim country, you know? Much to the chagrin of many people here, but that's a story for another day. It was a whole thing. Very much so, but... Karaj became a major industrial center. It had always been an agricultural center or a vacation spot for the elite. Now it is factories and production. There's one really cool building built here called the Pearl Palace. It was built not by Frank Lloyd Wright, but by his Taliesin group, which is basically like his clique, you know? He didn't build it himself, but his people did under his name. And it was a little lavish place, I believe, for the Shah's sister, Shah Pahlavi, one or the other. But the revolution occurred in, oh gosh, 1979? I didn't write down the year I should have, but I'm pretty sure it's 79. Someone will correct me if it's not. But uh, people were really fed up with the, one, the westernization, and two, the Shah living a very lavish lifestyle when that goes against a lot of the fundamentals of Islam. The, one of the most basic tenets of Islam is giving as much as you can to the poor and not hoarding wealth, you know. So they saw that as going against one of the five pillars of Islam. And due to many other reasons, of course, the Shah was overthrown. The Ayatollah was put as the religious leader of Iran. And pretty much anything that was deemed too Western was demonized 
including the Pearl Palace. It's still pretty much in ruins today. I'll show it to you on Google Earth in a minute. Um, but Iran does have it as a, like, cultural site. It's part of its history. And, um, it said, I think, on one tourist website, and I think also on Wikipedia, <laughs> the article for it, that our renovations have been happening. I think COVID's kind of slowed it down, but, um, I couldn't find any actual evidence of that. So they say that it's being repaired to be turned into a museum of some kind um, but I haven't seen any proof of that and pretty much that is the history of the Alpors region not terribly thrilling not a lot has happened in this part but like I said all of like the history of the area happened here and when you slice this area off you lose all of that really cool history so that's all I've got for you in terms of history. And that took a lot of digging. Most of it was from Iranian websites. <laughs> but I'm going to pull up Google Earth because I have so many things to show you in this place on Google Earth. It is so stunningly beautiful. Let me carefully grab my tablet and show you Alpors. Boris province. So first, let me zoom out so you can see exactly where we are in the world. If you don't know where Iran is located, we're right here in the, like, the farthest eastern edge of the Middle East, you know? There's the Caspian Sea. We've got, like, the proper Middle East over here, right? The Peninsula. We've got the, like, Caucasus Mountain region over here, Turkey. Over here we've got the Stan countries, you know, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, all of that, Pakistan. And Alborz, little Alborz, is just right up here in these mountains. Why don't we take a look at the slideshow, see if there's anything good here. So, yes, this is technically the Middle East, right? Can you believe it? Isn't this so serene and pretty? The big city there, little walkway, skyscraper. Big mound, my goodness. It's like an old temple on top. How cool is that? Yeah, I think I remember the slideshow being not terribly exciting, but look at this is a little like waterway here. Kind of reminds me of the the Falage system of Oman, but prettier, right? <laughs> Big busy city. There's a better picture of it. All the farming here, it's very terraced. Very beautiful place. What is happening here? This looks like dye of some kind. I'm not sure what that is about. That's cool. Beautiful mosque here as well. Like in many parts of Iran. There are beautiful, beautiful mosques. So let's start off by looking at Karaj. You probably already saw some of the best pictures in that slideshow, but it is a big, yeah, big bustling city. Of course, it's like a suburb of Tehran, so it's not too massive. But as you can see here, it's quite big, isn't it? And beautiful scenery around it, but we're going to take a look at that in a minute. Let me show you the Pearl Palace, if I remember where it's located. Oh, there's a cool apple orchard here. Check this out. How pretty. Don't you love apple blossoms? snowy day. Oh, very snowy day. Big bright apples. Very, very pretty little orchard here, right on the outskirts of the city. Very cool. I wonder if they do apple picking like they do when I lived in California and they had um, farms where they you could just go pick as much as you wanted. Let's see if I remember where the Pearl Palace is. Let me zoom out a bit just in case. I don't think I remember. <laughs> it was somewhere kind of outskirty, but we don't want to get too outskirty because look at all these farms, you know, look at all that green. Let's see if I can remember where it was before I quit and just look it up. Um, it's somewhere. 
the only industrial centers over here. There are still fireworks happening outside. You're gonna hear, an, oh man, I was way off. In tomorrow's video, there are so many fireworks going off. I hope they don't pick up too loud. But you can even see from above just how beautifully designed this building is. All of these round circular walls here and big domes, which are all kind of shattered and worn down around this circular green area. Very, very beautiful, right? But it's all beat up. They say you can go in and look around, that it's legal to do so, but I don't think I would. Uh, that's some, like, urban exploring kind of thing, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, let's take a look at the farm area. I gotta be careful because it's a small province and if I go too far, I'm gonna wind up next door. <laughs> but as you can see, it is so green and lush here. Those are towns, but all of the fields here growing all kinds of yummy fruits and um, green stuff, I guess. <laughs> very, very lush and green. I assume it's coming off of the snow melt making the, the soil very, you know, damp. So let's check out these mountains. These mountains, like from above, you're like, okay, but when I turn on the 3D, they are so jagged and rocky and steep. You can see all the little valleys in between and waterways and the, I love the stripes and the rocks. You can see just how old they are so, so, so long. The Alpors Mountains are so pretty. I'm getting into Tehran province. And these things are covered in waterfalls. Let's just click on a few. I see one right here. Lalun Waterfall. That's so beautiful. I think up oh, <laughs> when I was reading about this province, um, it seems that the waterfalls are the big point of pride in this province. How beautiful. It's so lovely. And then the snow, too. The snow's so pretty. And then wildflowers in the spring. And all kinds of hiking and exploring. My goodness, it must be so loud. It is such a beautiful little place, isn't it? Just a little slice of heaven here. Let's go like this. Make sure I'm still in outdoors. I need to show you a cave. But I need to find it first. I need to make sure that I'm oriented correctly. There we go. I need to show you a cave. It's somewhere up here in the north area. So we're going to hunt for it while I point out any other cool waterfalls or things. There's another waterfall. Let's take a look. The Sizing 10 Waterfall Gorge. I'm sure that's not... I'm sure that's a bad English translation, right? Brook there. See all the mountains covered in snow in the background. My neighbors are throwing around their bowling ball collection upstairs. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Ooh, fun snow. Lots of little wild things growing. What are those like? Maybe some kind of berry, apricot, or maybe it's just flowers, you know. Oh, he's about to go in that cave. I don't think I could go in a cave like that. I'm in the autumn. I'm sure it's a whole other world, right? How pretty this waterfall is. They're all pretty. <laughs> They're all beautiful. Okay, let's continue the quest for the cave because I had a feeling I would have a hard time finding it while I was recording because that always happens when um, I find a place and I'm like, oh, I have to show this on the video and then I can just never find it <laughs> on the video. You can see all the various waterfalls here because these mountains are very steep. Of course, I'm not going to find it. I even, like, went back into Google Earth before filming so that I could see if I could find it on my own, and I found it so quickly. And I'm like, that's not going to happen when I'm recording. And sure enough. Sure enough. Let's see. Make sure I'm 
in the correct spot again. I swear that like these things just change <laughs> while I'm filming, like it updates or something while I'm filming. I'm going over this big peak here, my goodness. I've got to show you this cave. It's worth it. It's so worth it. Here, can you see on the 3D? My gosh, it's huge. Oh, these mountains are so incredible. I'm obsessed. They are so pretty. Why don't I show you the ski slopes while I try to reorient myself here before I wind up in Tehran? There's Karaj. And if we look over here, let's see. Let's see, there's more waterfalls. Waterfalls. Big, looks like a dam right there. Should be able to see ski slopes from above. Over here, maybe? Of course, I've gotten lost. <laughs> of course, I have. Oh my gosh, these mountains are so incredible. Look how huge. Oh, these slopes are so pretty. Um, here's a cool old tree. I was looking at this slideshow earlier today. It reminds me of kind of the petrified forest trees in California, too. A lot of this kind of has a, a natural California feel to it. Like, that's an old, that's like, there's like fairies or something in that tree. It's way too old. <laughs> there's something, there's something mystical about that tree, right? Let's find the ski slopes. I hope this is relaxing. <laughs> I always get lost every single time. It's guaranteed. And I practiced so hard. That waterfall I showed you was in Tehran province, but that's okay. You get a good idea of what the waterfalls here are like. Every single time I get lost. Let me go like this again. So I have the borders there. Let's see. You're coming along with me. I'm not going to cut. I'm just going to search. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. This oh goodness me. How is this possible? Okay, they're over here somewhere. How have I lost ski slopes? <laughs> How is that possible? I found them so easily before every single time, I promise you. I promise you. There's more beautiful waterfalls, but I don't want to click off too soon, you know? I don't want to lose my orientation. If this isn't relaxing, you can roast me in the comments. I can't believe I can't find the ski slopes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, are these mountains gorgeous? Wow, big valley there. Big peaks. Okay. I'm like <laughs> really embarrassing myself. It's over here somewhere. I know it is. I promise you that I found this without any issue before. Where are they? We're gonna keep rolling until I find it. We're gonna keep rolling until I find it. Can you hear the wind outside? Um, Hurricane Hillary's on the way. I'm nowhere near where the hurricane's gonna actually hit, but I'm gonna get the tail end of it up here in Nevada. And it's just starting. Still have to show you that cave too. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut here. And now that we've got fireworks, even more sign that I should cut and just find it. Okay, so I was looking over here. It's literally over here. <laughs> you can see them now, right? All the ski tracks here. So this is, I think this is like the place where you go skiing in Alborz. Fireworks are still going. 
everything is chaotic as normal. Gorgeous sunrise there. Um, where can I find ski pictures, please? It's so pretty, but this isn't. Here we go. Snow time. <laughs> the big slopes. Here we go. Sliding down the snowy mountains. Not very helpful, but you can see all of the ski tracks here. Maybe this. Wow. So, yeah. I'm not a skier. I'm too chicken. <laughs> but um, I imagine it's pretty challenging hillsides down here. They look so steep. Oh my goodness. Now that I found the ski slopes, maybe I can find this cave. I promise you it's worth it. I promise you. Let me get out of here. And I'm gonna bring up the... Maybe not. Nope. I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost. Boris Province. That's what I'm looking for. It's around here somewhere. around here somewhere. I'm gonna find the cave. I'm gonna show my viewers this really cool cave. I'm really embarrassed that I can't find it, but I'm going to find it. I am determined. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut here again while oh, my neighbors- oh! Nope, I don't. I found it. Ha 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 ha. I'm not cutting. I found the cave. Okay, check this out. Look how beautiful this is. Look at these. These are stalactites and stalagmites made out of ice. Is that not the coolest thing? There's fairies that live in this too. There's some kind of magic happening in this cave, isn't there? Look how beautiful. Oh, I imagine with the lights, it's just pure magic. So pretty. Yeah, the exterior shots and the interior shots. My goodness, Elsa could never, right? It's just too beautiful. This is the coolest mountain range. The least coolest. Look at this. That's so magical. Look at that. It looks like crystals. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed with this cave. I'm so glad I found it without cheating. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cut here before the chaos gets even worse. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, first of all, thank you. <laughs> Second of all, please consider subscribing because this is an ongoing series on my channel. Next, we're going to be going to Syria. And you're not going to want to miss it. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. I do hope that you found this video relaxing and educational, and I hope that you have a good, 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 good night. Good night.